Okay, if you are accepting coupons on your website and you want to be able to track how many times a customer has used, has used it. So for example, let's go to the checkout page here. I'm going to add an item to the cart. And I'm going to go to the checkout page. And then once you scroll to the bottom of the page, uh, you'll see where you can put the coupon code. And you want to be able to track how many times a customer has used uh, your coupon codes. As you are well aware, um, on the back end of the website, when you go to coupons, you can create lots of different coupons. So, for example, in this scenario, um, we have a special called Best Burger. The coupon value is $1 off. Let me press edit so you can see everything there. So we have on, the coupon name is Online Special, Best Burger, $1 off. Um, there is no uh, minimum purchase, so it's just $1 off. And expires 4-30-2018. And uh, number of uses, it can be used unlimited. Okay, And now we want to know is how many times was this coupon used. So let's take a look how we can track that information. So what you would do is you would um, find where it says number of uses here. And then as you can see, it was used 73 times out of unlimited uses. So that's how you can track how many coupons uh, was used. And again, uh, each coupon you create will have a different number of use scenario cases. So if you make another coupon, let's say you call it, um, you know, another coupon code, for example, a special burger, uh, and you put $2 off, and then you put the coupon code, uh, and then you want to check it a month later, that will also have a number here telling you how many times it was used. Okay? Hopefully this video helped you out. Thank you so much.